This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. Apologies about the big beep there. It's just been time on the round for someone else. Not for us, we all just swift people. So nice and easy, get done quickly. Not, not that we lost really quick, maybe that's it, who knows. Anyway, so we've got Solomon on the channel. Uh, he finished first at our last Locals. Uh, I've brought you some of the other profiles for that one, so I wanted to bring you this one as well. And he's playing Tri Brigade, but with a bit of a twist. So, shall we get stuck in? Yes, Cool, so show us through your list. Uh, yeah, I played Tri-Brigade but with a slight, uh, an additional engine because I don't like the pure build, but we played normal tri-ratio, so 3 Naval, uh, 2 Karaz, 3 Kit, 3 Fractal, because that's pretty standard for most builds. Um, then for my extra engine I played Melfi cards, um, which are all just because I wanted an additional engine to play it. So I played 2 Melfi Poppy and 2 Melfi Caddy, um, they all have the s similar effects. So during the end phase they special themselves from hand, and then if your opponent summons a monster or declares an attack, they have an additional effect. Puppy specials a beast from deck, and Catty adds a beast from deck to hand. Um, so it gives you extra interruption, but also more search power and recursion. Um, it's just strong against the Trubia stuff then. Uh, to Kalantosa, um, you summon it off Puppy and it just pops a card. Um, it's not once per turn either, so if you have ways to summon multiple, you can just pop a few cards. And then Hoppy Squadron, um, you search this off Catty and it lets you quick play Synchro on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. um, so you use it to make Herald of the Arc Light. Uh, then free rescue cat because um, it's tri brigade stuff, but also in this deck you can summon two Malpies and make an XYZ, and then that makes Zeus. And Zeus is a good card. Yep. Then hand traps, I played free ash, two bow, and a crow. Um, mostly standard as far as I can tell. One crow because it's searchable, and bow because it hits revolt things. Like yep. Then on spells, uh, free obedience schools. This is the reason to play the Melfi engine. Um, this card is if you control no monsters, you can special three level two or lower beasts from deck. Um, and then it locks you into beast, but that doesn't matter because all the best cards in your extra deck are beast. So it's just a summon free from deck. C cards insane. Yeah. You if you resolve this, you normally can just win from that because you're too far ahead at that point advantage-wise. Yep. Uh, then free tanky because you want to add fractal. Yep. Uh, one Melfi Hide and Seek. Um, this is, it makes it so the first time a beast would be destroyed each turn, it's not. And then you can shuffle three beasts in your graveyard into the deck to draw a card. So it's like um, like a Swim Roll or Prank Kids Pranks. So like just, every arch archetype has one of these now, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> um, so it just gives you additional recursion. Yeah. Um, but drawing, like drawing one card and then drawing into like a hand trap or something, which is nice. And then one call by because call the by. card's done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, onto traps, play free impulse because you want and some kind of effect negation rather than sort of Ayla. I chose this because I could. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, two revolts um, is the reason to play tri brigade. This card is ridiculously good. Yeah. Um, it's just so much advantage off one card. And then one Imperial Order, because it's broken. It's a <laughs> should, free win. It just should not be legal. No, stop. absolutely not. Anyway, on to the extra deck. I sure. played one Melfi of the Forest. Um, so this card, um, you can detach material to add any Melfi card from deck to hand. Yep. And then if a Melfi returns to hand, it can negate a monster on field permanently. Sure. Then one Joyous Melfi's. Uh, this effects you can detach material to make all Melfi's attack directly yeah and then it can return itself to extra deck to summon any um summon beasts from the graveyard up to the number of materials it had yeah um so going first it's an interruption or going second you can use it to attack directly and then make zeus cause yeah good then uh tribal gauge stuff one bear um Good card. It's a beast as well, so it gets around the obedience school. Yeah. Uh, two ferage. It, yeah, two ferage because um, it's a beast, so you need it to get around the beast lock. Yeah. But also, I think two is, is better in the grind game. Yeah. Um, Two's definitely right, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, one rugal because you need the link free. Um, this card is really good in like in more simplified game states. It just gives you free advantage. Yeah. Um, that. And two Shireg, because it's a good card. Yeah. <laughs> Banishes and searches. Um, I don't know what. <laughs> it's just good. It's pretty silly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one Herald of the Arc Light, because you make it yeah, with the. 
hop air squadron and this card is just good because it banishes everything that goes from a decked grave or hand grave so it stops like fractal and stuff like that yep. and then it's also in the gate so you know, that's pretty good uh, one Zeus because Zeus. I'm playing XYZs <laughs> and Zeus is ridiculously good Yeah. one Almirage in case you don't draw anything else one Ancient Warriors because it's just the best option you have. Yep. Uh, one Mrs. Radiant. Yep. Um, this is for if you get Contact Seed on your Obedience Schools. Yep. You can link away Contact C and one of the Melfies and make this, and then you don't. Then you're not locked into Contact C. <laughs> um, and the Sounds reason good. it's this one is because it's a beast. Yeah. Um, but in theory, its effects could come up. But it's, it's better than Alsa though for this. Like, yeah. I get, I get locked into beasts, so I might as well. Uh, one Doom Eagle because it's the best. Like. Um, link free winged beast, but its effect is kind of relevant in some matchups. Being yeah, able to, like in Sky Striker, being able to shuffle back Ray is just really strong. And then one access code because you need a win button. Yeah, um, and this card is insane. Uh, and then side deck, I played free alpha because it's a beast. Yeah, um, more in this deck, being able to like you can go like obedient school and then special alpha and just bounce four cards. <laughs> Feels nice. Yeah, um, but it's also searchable off Melfi Catty. Yeah. So you can just side like one in going first and then just add it. Yeah. So then if your opponent still doesn't kill you, you can just special alpha and just clear their board. Yeah. Uh, then Triple Lancia because Tri Brigade's the best deck and this card just shuts off Tri Brigade. Yeah. And then it has niche, niche interactions with other decks. Uh, an additional DD Crow to side in, so I have two. Yeah. Again, just for some matchups. Uh, two Droll because I couldn't find space for the third. Yeah. Um, but good again, it's like combo decks or dry troll. Like weird rogue decks as well. Yeah. That cuts off. Which, uh, like, sh um, should all invoke. Uh, it's really good against that as well. Yeah. Then Feather Duster because back row decks. Yep. Yeah. Twin Twisters because back row decks. Yep. Yeah. And then two Solemn Judgments for if I'm going first. Um, I never sided this in, uh, but I don't know what to replace it with. <laughs> so I just... It seems not bad. Like... Yeah, in, in theory, if you going first, you can do the board, set this, and then you have, like, a strong backup it means you don't lose to like evenly matched and stuff. Yeah, like that. but it it just it never felt worth siding in. If that makes sense. Yep. Um, that's it for the deck. Um, okay. Cool. Yes. Um, I think this deck is really good. It has a better mirror match against Tri Variants because it just has that extra bit to push through. Yep. Um, in the locals, I when. Uh, Four in Swiss and then uh, won the event. I played Infernoble round one, Dinos round two, then Tri Brigade round three. Tri Brigade me. round yeah, <laughs> against, against, against Joe. Then Tri Brigade round four. Then it was top eight was Salad. Top four was Shadol, which was Kyle, who's profile's also on the channel. Yeah, yeah. And then the finals was the uh, Unchained. He's also on the channel. He's also on the channel. <laughs> um, yeah. It's it's a fun deck. It, it's a nice uh, mix up if you're you don't want to just play normal tri brigade. I think um, it has some advantages, like being able to go second with Zeus and things like that. Like yeah. I found that tri brigade really struggles with that. And yeah. this, this is like a natural synergy with that. Yeah, it's got that synergy, but also just in it's it's got a stronger mirror match, um, which I think just that's just really good considering most of this locals is tri brigade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so is. Just having a stronger match up against it is just good to go with indeed well thank you very much for taking the time to do the okay. profile really appreciate it uh, anything you would change uh, anything i'd change i might change the judgments on the side other than that most pretty much everything's fine uh, i haven't disliked anything in the main deck i think it's pretty good um it's about it probably yeah fair enough um, yeah <laughs> and any shouts before we go uh yeah shout out to Screw. Fantastic locals, um, best one I've ever been to. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Jam Jam Cards, who probably got me some cards in this deck. I lose track at this point. <laughs> I think they get everyone cards yeah. at this stage. Um, and then um, shout out to uh, my friends Dan and Callum for putting up with my <laughs> ramblings about this deck. <laughs> and then shout out to you, Rufio, because why not? Because <laughs> why not? Might as well suck up while you're on the yeah. camera, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well thank you very much for taking the time, I do really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching and you haven't hit subscribe, you should definitely consider doing so, and I will see you in the next one.